Oh, hello there. Hello there. This is Stephen Kirkbride from KT Numerology. And this video is for ladies born on the 4th of January. Now, without further ado, I'll crack on with this, yeah? So, hello there. Ladies born on the 4th of January. And here we are on the 4th of January. And I have a story to tell you. Now we have the planet Uranus ruling over the fourth of the month. And then we have Saturn ruling over Capricorn. Oh, I'll just tell you, I'm also a Capricorn. Born 30th of December, yeah? Uh, so we've got Saturn ruling over Capricorn. Our star sign, yeah? And let's then add the month of January together with your birthday. So you've got the fourth. Add the one. Hello, Kaz. Uh, so four add one equals five. Now the planet Mercury rules over number five. Therefore, we've got these three, yeah? So, in essence, you have Uranus, the freedom fighter, the inventor, and the mad scientist. And then Saturn, the father of all clocks and watches. Indeed, Saturn is the father of time. And then we get to the five, and it's ruled by Mercury, the planet who is the social butterfly, the connector of people, loves to mingle, likes a party now and again, yeah? So that's that, yeah? So now we'll carry on. So in essence again, still in there, here comes the freedom fighter, all brash and bold, the freedom fighter, Uranus, yeah? Whereas Saturn says, you must respect time and be careful, yeah? Old Saturn looks over, you see. And all the while, Mercury is setting up your next social event. So can you see this mix? You've got the freedom fighter, uh, Saturn, the father of time, looking over, caring and looking after you. Yeah. So, in essence, again, so you're a voice, you ladies born on the 4th of January, you're a voice for the oppressed, all done in perfect timing, with a lovely social event to finish off, provided by Mercury. Ain't that swell, eh? That's great, isn't it, eh? Now, we'll go on to 2019. The year we're in now, and uh, Feng Shui now. Here we are, we're coming in with Feng Shui, yeah? Now, ladies born on the 4th of January, to your favourable direction this year, for 2019, is direct north. So when you choose to pray or do affirmations, or anything, wishing people good luck, sending people healing, very important. If any of you ladies are healers, you send all your healing direct north this year and it'll speed to the people you go in. So anything, good wishes, uh, affirmations, praying, healing, all of it, direct north, yeah? Now, uh, and I'm going to give this to everybody every day, yeah? All these uh, directions, yeah? Now, north is cool and calm, while south is fire and hot. That's in our uh, hemisphere, obviously, in Northern Hemisphere. Uh, it'd be reversed in the Southern Hemisphere, in Australia, you know. Uh, so, you're cool and calm this year. You've got that North, keeping you nice and cool and calm, yeah? Yeah, so uh, that's uh, your Feng Shui direction. Now, uh, let's have a look at the tarot, what it's saying about you, yeah? The tarot, it's the Emperor. Hmm. Now, the Emperor is all about reason, and you're very reasonable. Yes, you are. Uh, it's about cohesion, gluing things together. It's about concrete results, the four, because you've got the four corners, you see, and the four heart chambers, and the four directions of the compass, yeah? Four seasons, that number four, you see? Uh, and once, uh, setting foundations as well, so concrete results, setting foundations, and one trick you've got here up your sleeve, which I really like, you know, you're able to practice philosophy, yet you're still comfy with small talk. Hey up, Gary. All right there. So, uh, born on 4th of January, you're able to practice philosophy 
and you're still comfortable with small talk. You're an all-rounder. Very powerful this, yeah? Yeah, so now, uh, now. Born up 4th of January. I am the case between Taurus and Gemini. So what's mine 2019 going to be? Wow. <laughs> now look, Kaz, right? Uh, I'm doing every single day. So when it's your birthday, I'll be able to... Because I can't hold back, you see, on the format of everything, yeah? But when it's your birthday, I will tell you reams about your birthday, yeah? Absolute reams about it. Or if you want to... If you've noticed, Kaz, I've put my email on this one. If you want a full reading from me, I can do you a really good reading, right? Both astrological, numerology, the lot, yeah? Uh, but I can't, obviously, because I've got a format going through here, you know? Uh, I can't uh, get back, because in December, you see, I, I started answering all questions, and we went from a 15-minute video to 110 minutes, and uh, it got really behind all my schedules, yeah, but... Uh, yeah, Taurus and Gemini, yeah, but Gemini, the two, uh, yeah, hey up Sarah, Gemini, the two people, yeah, <laughs> two people, you've got that face and that face, uh, guys, yeah, it's beautiful, don't get me wrong, but it makes you a really good uh, negotiator and all, that Gemini, you know, talking that way and that way, you can really, uh, it's powerful, yeah, uh, you know, but now, anyway, back to 4th of January, uh, please, please listen up. I put my email on here for people born 4th of January. Because you're in your most powerful year for nine years. So, if you're listening and you're born, I don't, if it's in future, if it's even June, July, if you're listening to this video, you, lady, are in your most powerful year for nine years. Yeah? And I put my email on here because if you don't go through this year right... You could be walking through this year, treading in treacle, literally, yeah? Because you're in a power year. And a simple...